Hey guys, don't mind me, I'm just hanging out with my buddy Torch here. He's pretty tall, so don't mess with me, or you'll be in trouble. I swear. Hey there everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod review where today I'm going to be showcasing the Torch mod which adds in some super cool ways to deploy torches into your world with as few clicks as possible but with as many explosions as we can create. So there are four main recipes to this mod and let's get to them where first we're going to create the Torch Gun. So the Torch Gun is like the basic weapon in this mod and it's going to need four iron, two wood one piece of glass and one piece of gunpowder to create this and if you're wondering why it's not in an item frame well if you right click to put it in an item frame it will actually explode the item frame so i just put it down here like this so let's pick this guy up and the, the model on this thing while you're holding it is looking amazing it's got all the torches in there in your little pouch in the bottom bit there and it's just looking sweet so this guy will actually deal damage to mobs on a right click and will use durability and the torches in your inventory too so let's right click and it will fire out a torch and wherever it lands it will place a torch but if it can't place a torch it will just turn into a torch drop and as i said earlier it will actually explode mobs well it won't explode them it will just deal damage to them so here we go you can light up your world while destroying all kinds of pigs you like so that is pretty sweet and is an awesome way to get torches into your world and you can also um as you can see there is a durability bar at the bottom of your torch gun and what you're actually going to need to do is when that durability runs out you're going to need to put this and a flint and steel in the crafting table like this and it will refill your torch gun and then you can carry on shooting as much as you like. So up next we're going to learn how to make the RPT launchers. Now this is like the high grade torch launcher and you're going to need a dispenser, four iron, a piece of gunpowder, one obsidian, one piston and a piece of yellow dye for the tape around the edge. And this is what it looks like. It looks pretty sweet and while you're holding it it looks damn awesome as well. So let me just hold it and there. Oh my god look at this. He's looking ready for go. And we actually need different kinds of ammo for this. We are going to need some rocket propelled torches. Now for this, we are going to need eight torches wrapped around a piece of gunpowder. And this will create some rocket propelled torches for you. And this is what it does. Ah, oh, yes. It will explode into a flurry of torches and you can fire it into the air as well. And it will just kind of explode and drop torches onto your land. So that is pretty damn cool. I think you'll agree that is pretty sweet. So yeah, now we're going to be moving on to the most amazing one in this mod, which is the Torch Rocket. Now this is the most easily the most easy way and most incredible way to launch torches into your world. And no, it's beginning of the day. Let's just put it to time set. Oh no, I'm typing it wrong. Let's make it nighttime, so just to make this look even better. And you can see, just as a reminder, how many torches are out there at the second. But now we've got the torch rocket. And to create this, it's very, very simple. You just need a torch and a piece of gunpowder. And you create this. And you can just place it into the land um, like this. And this is what it looks like just normally. And you can actually launch this thing. So let's go over and grab some materials for that. You're going to need stacks of torches. And you're going to need stacks of gunpowder. So we've got a hell load of stuff in here. And oh, I don't want to put that in there. I want to put it in here. So let me just put the through here and then we've got stacks of torches so the maximum amount of torches it can take is eight stacks and it can take that amount of gunpowder divided by three so what you're going to need is kind of like two or three stacks of gunpowder for the amount of torches that you've put in so we're going to put all of the torches in here let's just put that away because we don't need the single torch and we're going to need a couple of gunpowders too let's take three just to be safe and what you do is you go over to it and simply just drop them onto it so if we just drop these to the side here you can see that the torch gets slightly bigger and we're just going to keep doing it until the torch is at its maximum potential and you can see it just growing in the back of the screen there and we've got a big torch on our hands. This is a torch rocket, but we do need some fuel for it as well. So let's throw some gunpowder in there. There we go. That should be enough gunpowder to launch this bad boy. So we're going to need a flint and steel. There's two ways you can actually launch this guy. And I will have a little bit of lag where um, it launches and explodes. But we'll see the finished product real nice. So there's two different ways to launch this. You can use a flint and steel which is slower. Or you can use redstone which is a bit faster. We're just going to right click it with some flint and steel. And as you can see this starts to deplete. And this is the countdown to the explosion. So we're just going to wait over here and see what happens. It's a really cool animation when it flies into the sky and explodes and leaves torches everywhere. So let's do it. It's, it's ready. There we go. Oh my god. It's so majestic. It's beautiful. And ah, oh, look at this. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. A little bit of lag, but not too much. And our world is covered in torches. Look at this. You need to build this thing near your base and just explode it and it will look 
absolutely incredible. So there is actually one more thing I want to do here. And they've even gone all the way into the forest as well. And it looks beautiful. So there is one more thing I want to try because apparently the way it explodes or the way it will launch is a bit different if you add golden nuggets. So I'm actually going to do this because I'm intrigued. So let's grab this here. And did this one just appear? Or did I? I'm just seeing things, I think. So let's just um, put it down here. So there's going to be a lot of torches around. Actually, should we just put it? Let's put it over here. Let's put it over in the darkness just so we can see what happens with this new golden nugget edition. So we're going to move over to here. Set all this bad boy down and fill it up again. So let's just throw all the torches on there. There we go. That's what I like to see. There we go. It should be at maximum in a second. There we go. It should be at max. And we're going to add some more gunpowder as well. There we go. And apparently you can just right click with it. Um, I don't know if this is working. Let's try throwing them on as well. And just see what happens. So we're just going to right click and see if this different. I haven't just, I haven't tested this out. So let's just see what happens. Yeah, there is golden nuggets on there. So um, here we go. Oh my god. What is going on? It, it nudged then. I saw it wanting to go. Let's see what happens. Oh yes. It's beautiful. Um. Hello? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like the torch apocalypse. What? <laughs> Wow, that was amazing. So Golden Nuggets adds kind of like instead of a spherical kind of outburst, it is just zipping everywhere and it looks amazing. And look how many torches are around here. This is sweet. So that is pretty much the torch mod. It is incredible. It's a lot of fun to mess around with. Even if you just open up new worlds and explode this torch thing, it's just amazing. So there's lots of different guns you can have. And it's, one's even landed here, which is odd. That looks amazing, but cool at the same time. So <laughs> it's just destroyed all my item frames. So yeah, if you do like the look of this mod and want to try it out for yourself, then please go to the description below to check it out. I would highly recommend it. It's made by iTunes, who's an amazing modder, and I've done some of his mods before. He's just really cool, and you should check him out. Also, if you're on new to the channel then please hit that subscribe button for daily minecraft videos and for all of you a like and a favorite would be greatly appreciated too so thanks a lot guys for watching do go check out this mod even if you try it just once or twice it is definitely worth it so yeah check it out and that is it from me so i will see you all next time goodbye <laughs>